We're looking forward to welcoming you to the Broads National Park. This is the first in a series of videos to help you enjoy boating on the Broads safely, whether you're hiring a boat for a day trip or staying aboard a holiday cruiser for a few days. They cover many of the subjects that will be useful for first time and experienced boaters, such as mooring, driving under bridges, what to do if someone falls in the water, and even some basic knots for tying up your boat. We've also produced a video about paddle sports, which are increasingly popular in the Broads. You'll be given a comprehensive introduction to your boat when you arrive at your hire boat yard, which will explain all you need to know before taking to the water, but you may also be asked to confirm that you've seen and understood these videos. Boating on the inland waters of the Broads is a safe pastime, but there is always an element of risk on the water. Watching these videos will help you avoid some common mistakes. They're a great way to prepare, and in this video we'll share some other things you can do to get the most from your trip. Read through all the information your hire boat yard sends you. It'll contain details of the handover process and measures they're taking to keep you safe. Download the free Away app to your phone. It has lots of information and advice for boaters on the broads, including live updates on tide times, maps, sunrise and sunset, as well as emergency numbers and links to the What Three Words service, which can help find your precise location should you need to let anyone know exactly where you are. The Broadcaster magazine contains lots of safety hints, tips and ideas for your trip. You can read the magazine online and a copy will also be provided when you pick up your boat. The pace of life on the Broads is relaxing with speed limits of three to six miles per hour, which is about walking pace. There are plenty of very special places to visit and the maps within the Broadcaster can help you to plan your time in the Broads National Park. You will need to be moored up each evening before it gets dark, so be realistic about how far you can travel during the day. The staff at your boatyard can also offer advice on where you plan to go and they'll point out any trickier areas with faster flowing tides, low bridges to pass under and busy mooring spots. You may want to consider taking training from an accredited provider, such as the RYA, which offers a range of courses to suit all skill levels and need. Your hire boat provider will supply life jackets for every member of your crew when you arrive. If you need one for your pets, it's worth checking if your boatyard can provide these as well. If not, you may wish to purchase one in advance. Use the time before your trip to learn and practice the simple knots that will be useful when you are mooring up. Be sure to pack shoes with good grip and warmer clothes as it gets cool in the evening. These few steps will ensure you are better prepared and ready to enjoy the broad safely.